In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install GPT Engineer and run it from the command line. We're going to install Git, Python, VS Code. You'll also need your OpenAI API key, and then I'll show you how to put it all together and run GPT Engineer from command line. Now let's go to Google and type download Git. Go to the first search result. And on this page, click on the teal download for Windows button. Look no further than the very first link on this page saying click here to download the latest version of Git. Simply go through the installation steps by clicking the next button. GPT Engineer runs on Python, so we need to download Python. Let's go to Google and type download Python. Let's go ahead and go to the first search result link and here just click on this yellow button. Once the file finishes downloading, click and install Python. Now make sure to memorize the folder where you're installing it. In this case, I installed it to C slash Python 3. Now, once you've installed Python, click on the start button and just start typing environment variables. Then press enter or click on the open button. Then just click on environment variables. Here in the second box below, scroll down and find a variable called path. Click on the edit button. Now here you need to add Python's installation folder, which as you remember was C Python 3. You might also need to add Python 3 scripts. If you don't see these folders on the list, click on the new button and add it yourself. So if for example, you installed Python to your program files folder, simply make sure that it's correctly specified here. Now click on the OK button, then OK again and OK. Now go to start button, type CMD, hit enter and on the command line type python3 dash dash version if you see an error you need to set up your environment variables properly but if you see actual python version then it's ready to execute gpt engineer now next is an optional step you can use any editor but i'm going to go ahead and download vs code go to first search result here just click on the download link for your operating system mine is windows so i'm going to go with that once the file finishes downloading simply click on it and go through the installation process now let's go back to google and type open ai sign up the fastest way to find the api key links is it's right here so once you have your open ai account go to this api keys page if you can't find it go to upper right corner here and click view your api keys click on the create new secret key button now this is your only opportunity to copy the key open ai will not show it to you again so just make sure to paste it somewhere like notepad or some similar place we're gonna need it in the next step we'll go to google and type gpt engineer to access gpt engineer project go to this first link we're going to copy the GitHub link to this project. So go to the green button and copy this link over here. Now open your command prompt again, go to your C drive and start typing MKDIR GPT. This is going to create a folder called GPT on our C drive and then type CD for change directory, followed by GPT and press enter. Now, because we installed a Git in the previous step, we can issue the Git command from the command line. If the git command generates an error, you need to make sure to add installation path to git to your environment variables just the same way like we did with the Python in an earlier step. So just go ahead and type git clone, right click the cursor and paste that link we copied earlier from the GPT engineer git project. Just press enter and this will install GPT engineer on your computer. Now go ahead and open your favorite editor. I'm going to open VS code that we installed earlier. Go to file, open folder, then navigate to this folder we just created from the command line, which was C GPT. And here it is. Click on GPT engineer one time and click on the open folder button. This opens GPT engineers source code in our visual studio code. Now here, go to terminal and select new terminal. And this might work, but VS code has multiple terminals. So just to make sure I'm going to select on this drop down git bash. If you don't have that installed, you might still be able to run it from 
regular terminal or just do it from the command line we used previously with the cmd prompt running from the start button now i'm going to test if i have pip installed properly pip dash dash version if the pip command is not going to work in the next step you might want to do it with pip3 command now on my computer both pip and pip3 point to the same python environment so i'm just going to use the regular pip command now what you want to type next is install dash r requirements.txt this is going to install additional python modules required by gpt engineer project so just press enter and the modules will be downloaded and installed now remember that open ai key we had in our notepad so just go ahead and copy your open ai api key and in the command prompt start typing export then all uppercase letters open ai underscore api underscore key equals and then right click the cursor to paste your api key and press enter now to build a new code base for something we're going to create a new folder mkdir snake running this command will create a new gpt engineer code base project so click on the folder we just created right click and create new file name this file main underscore prompt now this is the main prompt so to create a snake game in javascript for example i'll type create a snake game in javascript now to run this gpt engineer project type python 3 then dash m gpt underscore engineer dot main and the name of our folder we created, which was snake. Now, if you get no module named typer error, go ahead and type pip install typer. If that still doesn't work, you just have to juggle around your Python environments. And here, instead of Python 3, I'm just going to change that to just Python and run it again. So ChatGPT engineer will start executing your main prompt now to see your generated code base go to snake workspace in all output txt and there's also javascript i don't need you to like this video or subscribe to my channel what you can do to help others is if you run into an error with anything during installation of gpt engineer just post a comment so other people can see and hopefully if somebody else finds a solution they will post a comment as well and this tutorial is just me installing gpt engineer for the first time and as you can see it worked but if you run into an error please post a comment